Hi, now in this tutorial what I want to do is introduce you to the multiplication rule for indices or exponents. And we'll do a few examples here and we'll start with this one, a numeric example, and then we'll progress on to some algebraic examples. And what we've got here then is 2 cubed multiplied by 2 squared or 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 2. So what does this short for? Well what we've got here is that this equals 2 cubed. 2 cubed is short for 2 being repeatedly multiplied by itself 3 times over. And then I'm going on to multiply that 2 cubed with 2 squared. 2 squared is short for 2 repeatedly multiplied by itself 2 times over. Now you'll notice I've color coded this just to bring out I hope the essential features of each part. So what we've got here for the, our final answer is simply 2 repeatedly multiplied by itself 5 times over. So we'd write that as 2 to the power 5. So we should be able to go from here straight to this answer without really writing this out in full like this. But can you see that this seems to suggest then that all we need to do is just add our powers up here as long as our base value is exactly the same. Our base value in this example is 2. Here's another example, number 2. What we'll have for this example is another numeric one. We'll have 3 squared then, 3 to the power 2, and we'll multiply this with 3 to the power 4. So what would our answer be for this one? Well you should be able to see by a similar argument to this that it should be 3 to the power 6. Okay, and we should be able to write that in just simply straight away as 3 then to the power 6. But why is this? 3 squared then is 3 multiplied by itself repeatedly twice over. And we're multiplying this then with 3 to the power 4 which is 3 repeatedly multiplied by itself 4 times over. So you can see that we've got 3 in total repeatedly multiplied by itself 6 times over, the result of adding our powers 2 and 4. So what this seems to suggest algebraically then is that if we've got say some value, okay, let's call it x in general, x repeatedly multiplied by itself o over m times, x to the power m, and we multiply this with say x again, our base value, multiplied by itself repeatedly n times over, then the result is a total of repeatedly multiplying x, a total of m plus n times. So we add our powers, okay? And there's our result that uh, we'll just highlight here. Now, we've done it with numerical values, but what happens then if we do it with some algebraic values? And it doesn't have to be x all the time. It could be any letter you like. Let's say we use a. a to the power 4, say, multiplied by the same base value, in this case a, to the power 5. What would this result be? Well, it's going to be a to the power 9 as our final result. Okay, we'll just put that in there as a to the power 9. Now, I'm not going to really want to keep writing all of these out all the time, so we'll just do it for this tutorial. But a to the power 4 is then a times a times a times a. Okay. And then we're multiplying this by a repeatedly five times over, so we're going to have this result here. So you can see I've got a repeatedly multiplied by itself nine times over. So we get a to the power nine. Now in my next example, what I want to demonstrate here is 
that we don't necessarily always just have letters. We can have numbers mixed in with this. So for instance, suppose we had 3x squared and we were multiplying this by, say, 5x cubed. We'll do this color coded for this one, okay? So what's our answer going to be? Well, for 3x squared, this is short for 3 multiplied by x, which is squared. So it's 3 times x times x, okay? It's only the x that is squared, not the 3. And then we're multiplying this by 5x cubed. So that is short for 5 multiplied by just the x, which is cubed. So that is x times x times x, okay? And so what is our final answer? Well, for this one, we can do 3 times 5, which is 15. And then we've got x repeatedly multiplied by itself a total of five times. x squared times x cubed, just add the powers, and you've got x to the power 5. Now my next example, the final example in this particular video, what I'm going to do is mix numbers and different letters as well. So we've got, say, this example, 2x squared, y cubed, and we're going to multiply this with, say, let's say 3xy squared, 3xy squared. So what would this answer be? Well, we should be able to go straight to the final answer. That's our ultimate goal. The final answer is in fact going to be two times three, which is six. And we've got x squared times another x here, which is going to be x cubed or x to the power three. And we've got y cubed times y squared. That's going to be y to the power five. If I break this down in smaller steps, 2x squared y cubed is short for 2 multiplied by x squared, which is x times x, multiplied by y cubed, so that's y repeatedly multiplied by itself three times over. And then we're multiplying this, let's just put that green multiplication sign in, with 3xy squared. In other words, 3, and then got multiplied by x, and then multiply by y squared. So that's y multiplied by y again. And you can see two threes are six, and then you've got x squared here times another x there, so that's your x cubed, and you've got y cubed here times y squared there, so in total y is repeated five times over. Okay, so I hope that's given you some background then how we can work out these particular types of problems. And you shouldn't need to expand them in full like I've done. You should be able to go straight to the final answers. Okay, 